Hi everybody! Today is July 25th and I'm going to be making a video about insecurity. And I want to talk about this because I want to put things in perspective. And I've learned that pretty much everyone has insecurities about themselves. And when you're faced with a challenge like multiple sclerosis, those insecurities can intensify. And I looked up the definition of insecurity and it, it says that it's a lack of confidence or assurance or self-doubt. And I also wanted to talk about Facebook a little bit, another social networking site. And there are really great things about it and there are really, in my opinion, kind of bad things about it. And the really great things are that you get to reconnect with people who you haven't seen in a long time. Or I got to become friends with a lot of you who I've talked to you for years. And now that we're friends on Facebook, I can actually see what you look like. And we can communicate and I can see, like meet your family, meet your family. And it's been, it's been awesome. So there are so many good things about it. But the bad things are that I feel like a lot of people become really insecure because they're always comparing themselves to other people. And I feel like people always compare themselves to how others look, how others dress, how others talk, how others treat people, and how others socialize. And I looked up why somebody would be insecure. And I found that people feel not good enough to meet the challenge or of a situ or they, I'm sorry, they're not good enough to meet the challenge of a situation that they face in life. They have a sense of helplessness in the face of problems, conflict, or concerns. They believe that they are inadequate or incompetent to handle life's challenges. They have a sense of not fitting in, being out of sync with those in their peer group. They have a sense of lacking support or reinforcement where they live, work, or play. The results from a lack of being unaccepted, disapproved, or rejected. And there's inner turmoil coming from a lack of direction or bewilderment as to where you are going, what your goals are, and what responses are appropriate for events in life. And I thought, when you have MS, you can relate to all those things. And it's really what you make of it. And I believe that everyone has their own strengths and that we all have to learn to embrace our individuality. I have officially had MS now for 10 years. I can't believe it. And I've learned to accept the fact that while I have MS, I'm never going to be able to run again, which is what I did when I was 14 and, and younger. I'm going to live with fatigue, especially in hot and humid weather right now. I know that the future is unpredictable. Meaning, when you have MS, you don't know if your symptoms are going to change. You don't know if you're going to progress. And you really don't know anything. And, and that's really scary. In my opinion, the scariest thing of, in the world is the unknown. And I've also learned to accept who I am the way that I am. And I've made efforts to work on my insecurities. And I, I don't compare myself to other people. And I set goals for myself that I'm working on achieving on a daily basis. So when I go on Facebook, I don't say, oh, look at how happy they are. And look at, look at what they're doing and what I'm not. And look, at they don't have MS, so their life is a lot easier than mine. I don't do that. I say, I'm really happy for them. I think that's awesome. I think that's great. And I have some really awesome and really great things that are happening in my life. And those are the things that I try to focus on. And I'm going to be making another video soon about my biggest insecurity. And I'm literally waiting for test results to come back. Otherwise, I would have talked about it right now, but I'm waiting for test results to come back. And it deals with cognition. So 
stay tuned because I'll be making another video soon and I hope you're all doing well and I love you all for who you are and I hope that you can embrace your differences and don't compare yourself to other people. <laughs> That's my opinion because I think we're all great in our own way. So I will talk to you soon. I hope you're doing well and I'll see you later. Bye.